Hello, and welcome to my channel, I'm Mandy Grace. I have a bit of a head cold, but um, doesn't matter. I feel like I haven't done a classic reading vlog in forever. I've just been doing the uh, writing craft books. At least that's what it feels like. So we're gonna do an old-fashioned just reading vlog. And we're going to be reading A Curse So Dark and Lonely, which I've heard great things about and I'm very, very excited about. I should definitely say spoiler alert because there's, you know, me just chatting about the book that I'm reading and I'm I'm going to chat about whatever I feel like chatting about and it's probably maybe going to have spoilers. The last book that I was reading, Assassin's Heart, um, <laughs> I made it halfway through that book and I was still bored by it. Um, yeah, I'm really glad that I decided to DNF that one because one page into this one, I was hooked. And I am, uh, let's see, I'm starting chapter four now and it is so good. <laughs> I love it so much. You guys, this book is so good. It's so good. I am 189 pages into it on the first day. Um, this is very, very different <laughs> from the book that I was just reading yesterday, which was boring me to tears. Um, I only made it 203 pages into that book, Assassin's Heart, um, which is roughly, like, almost exactly halfway, and it was so boring, and it took me so long to get there, and I hated it. And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trade books and just see what happens. This is what has happened. 189 pages. I might possibly finish this today. Because it's so good. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh my goodness. I love, absolutely adore, um, Harper, the main female lead. She is great. She's... She's got so much fire in her, but then also she's so vulnerable. It's like she's, ugh, she's amazing. She's a fighter, but she's also like, ugh, I can't even explain it, but like she's terrified in situations. And you'll see scenes from the other lead, uh, Ren, the prince, from his perspective, uh, where something is happening and, she, and he's watching her like step up and be awesome and whatever and then you cut to her side of things and she's like huh what is going on I'm faking it all and it's just it's so good <laughs> oh man also it's just it's it's super neat like on a physical level level as well because she has cerebral palsy and like she's not your typical graceful female lead who's just gorgeous and perfection or whatever you know like it's oh, I can't even explain how much I love this and then also the interactions between Harper and Ren and then also his guard Gray oh my gosh I love scary Gray <laughs> he's my favorite and I know so this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling right and Beauty and the Beast is my favorite fairy tale by far love it so much um anyway it's possibly why um, The Cursed Hunter by Bethany Afzada is my favorite of her th four, I was about to say three, but of the four books in the Stolen Kingdom series, because that was the Beauty and the Beast one. But it also has dragons. But that's not the book we're talking about today. Um, I was just thinking about Bethany specifically because I bought these books because she recommended them on um, Instagram. And then I was like, okay, and immediately clicked because, you know, Bethany Afzada, I'd do anything she says and a Beauty and the Beast retelling, which is my favorite, and I was like, what could possibly go wrong? And also, it's been amazing and well worth it, and I don't regret anything. But anyway, um, I had a train of thought before I started talking about, um, Bethany, but I don't know what it was. Oh, I know exactly what it was. It came back to me. So, it's Beauty and the Beast retelling, and we have Harper, who's like, you know, the beauty in this case, um, and we have Ren, who's clearly the prince, because he 
literally turns into a monster and you know he's, he's he is yes um and then we have his bodyguard <laughs> gray and i'm not gonna lie i mean the ren and harper scenes are fun and kind of cute and like i could see it you know like it could be a thing and they could fall in love at the end of the book and i'd be like okay beauty and the beast it was good but i really love her interactions with the bodyguard <laughs> And I'm really kind of hoping that that's, that that's what happens. <laughs> Which I feel would be terrible, because then the curse would not break and everyone would be doomed. But I love Scary Grey, and he's so nice to Harper. Maybe he'll just be like a big brother figure, and that's fine. I guess. And it's not that I don't like the prince, because I actually really do like him a lot. I think he and Harper would be great together if they ever actually fall in love. They're not right now. She despises him, but it's fine. Anyway, the point is, I could see that being the love story, and it would make sense, and I would like it, because I like Rin, and I like Harper, and I like their, like, fiery interactions together, because they, they bicker a lot. They, they mouth off at, at, at each other. They don't like each other. Anyway, and I, I could like it. I like enemies to lovers. But I also like Grey, and if that's what happens, I won't be disappointed. <laughs> Okay, I finished this amazing, delightful, perfect book, um, and I have so many thoughts. Uh, yeah, okay, so starting with the monster chapters, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I loved those. The first time I turned the page and it said monster and I was just like blown away because it was gorgeous. I, I just loved the way that that was done. It was beautiful. It was amazing. And now we're going to talk about my favorite character, Grey, because, oh my goodness. Okay. So the first half of the book, um, I loved Harper's friendship with Ren and Harper's friendship with Grey. And I thought, you know what? Either one of these could be the love interest and I'd be happy, right? Pretty sure I talked about this on camera. And then there was another like quarter-ish of the book after the first half. Um, where it was clear that Rin was the love interest, all of the cute, sweet, almost kissing moments were with Rin, right? Um, so yes, it was clear Rin was the love interest, and I resigned myself to that fact. I was like, it's fine. I like Rin, and actually all of the moments with Rin and Harper are really adorable, and I was totally fine with it. I was okay. And then... <laughs> I turn the page and Grey is drunk and being like, mm, but actually I do like her. And I was like, uh, no! <laughs> now I'm conflicted! <laughs> Grey! Oh man. What I love about this book though is that it's not the typical like there's a girl and she likes this guy and she likes that guy and she doesn't know which guy she wants to be with. Like it wasn't like that. It was more like there's this girl who doesn't trust either of these people and then she builds a friendship with them. And I loved it because with Ren there was all of this like insecurity and very slowly building trust and like starting to be open and vulnerable with each other which was beautiful and sweet and like by the end of the book they were friends you know and then <laughs> on the other side there's Grey and she had a much more easy relationship with Grey she trusted him much sooner and he's just you know nice guy all around um also I just love all the scenes with Scary Gary Gary that's not his name Scary Grey <sighs> anyway, I loved the friendship that was built between both the guys, and it wasn't about, I like two guys and I don't know which one to pick. It was just, she built friendships with them. And she wasn't trying to pick between them because it wasn't a love triangle in that sense. She wasn't trying to fall in love with either of them. She was just surviving in this magical fantasy world and was like, these are my two friends. Um, yes. Obviously, Ren was hoping she'd fall in love with him because then she'd break the curse and yada yada. But he wasn't pushing it. And it was just, I mean, he fell for her. So hard. And she kind of fell for him too. But, like, she also was friends with Grey. And Grey apparently likes her. And I love Grey. So I'm conflicted. Anyway. 
that's all the stuff with the like romance which is killing me because <laughs> I was okay after the first half of the book I was like it's fine I love Grey but like Harper doesn't have to love Grey it's fine and then Grey was drunk and was like mm, I like her and I was like Ugh. Grey why would you do this to me but anyway there's that um and then there's the very end of the book where it comes out spoiler alert Grey is actually, though he doesn't know it, and Ren doesn't know it, um, he's actually Ren's half-brother and kind of an heir to the throne and like, oh my goodness! Ah! <laughs> uh, if I had to choose between them, I'd choose Grey, not gonna lie, I'm rooting for Grey. I'm starting book two now, um, and I'm rooting for Grey. But see, here's the thing, I really like Ren, and I like Ren and Harper together, and I think they're very sweet, and I loved the way that they slowly built up their friendship. It was great. And also the fact that they weren't necessarily in love at the end of the book, but they were both like, we like each other, should we try and see if this goes somewhere? <sighs> I liked it. I liked it a lot. But there's gray! Uh, anyway, we're starting book two. Oh my goodness, so much is happening, and um, I kind of don't want to put the book down long enough to discuss it, but... 200 pages into this book, I feel I should do an update because I haven't. I don't think I've even, I haven't even filmed like a clip of me reading or anything. I've just been reading. Uh, crazy things are happening, you guys. Okay, so Gray went into hiding after he figured out that he was the heir because, um, well, he knows that Rin would probably have to kill him if he knew he was there, and also he wants to protect Ren and his right to the throne and he's you know doesn't want to be like oh there's another heir over here anyway so he was in hiding but he was found <laughs> and then Ren went ballistic oh my goodness so yeah torturing this random boy that is friends with Grey because he was trying to get information out of Grey so he tortured an innocent boy I used to like Ren I don't anymore I despise him uh, anyway, so there's that. Harper, thank goodness, has helped Grey get out. Oh, I have no idea what's going on, but it's crazy. Also, I haven't, you know, done an update, so <laughs> I haven't been able to tell you. There's another character in this book who gets, um, chapters. The chapters are from various people's perspective. Mostly Harper, Ren, and Grey, but, um, in this book, there's another one. And she is the princess of the country that was causing us all the trouble in the last book. I don't like these people, but I like her. She seems pretty good. <sighs> but the problem is, I think she's going to be Grey's love interest. Because they've had some moments, not like romantic moments, because they're both prisoners and they don't trust each other and like nothing. But they've had some moments where I thought, she's going to be his love interest in this book. And I don't want that, because now that Rin has turned into a horrible person that I despise, I want Harper to be with Grey. <laughs> I think Harper might make that choice too, given how angry she is with Ren. So, um, yeah, this other little princess is gonna have to keep her hands off because I don't, I don't want it. I mean, I'd like it. Here's the deal. I like her. Obviously, I love Grey. If they ended up together the way it looks like they will, I'd be okay. But I'd prefer Harper and Grey. Anyway. I feel like all of my updates um, with this reading vlog have to do with who's going to fall in love with who, which is not really the biggest thing going on in these books. I just don't, I don't know how to recap all of the chaos of the political stuff or the fighting or what, it, like it's just, it's crazy and I don't really have an opinion on any of it, I'm just like invested in what's happening. But I have an opinion on Grey's love interest, so that's what I'm talking about. between Grey and Liamara is amping up 
and despite how sweet all of the scenes are, I cannot handle it. Every scene I'm like, no, no, Gray, wait for Harper. And I think part of the problem is that we haven't had a Harper scene since like very, very early in the book. There have been no Harper scenes. And we've had no Rin scenes, I think, in the entire book. So we haven't gone back to check on the people we left behind when we ran off. Um, so I don't know what Harper's thinking or feeling or doing about the Rin situation. And I just, I don't want Grey to fall in love with this other princess. She's nice and she's sweet and whatever, but she's not Harper. Well, I finished. I don't love it. <laughs> it was good. I read it just as fast as the other one. Um, I enjoyed it. I spent most of the book not enjoying the romance that the entire book was about because I didn't want the romance to happen. Um, so there's that. But I like Liamara and obviously I like Grey and it's fine. I'll get over it. The politics and like the civil war that's about to happen were just annoying me because ugh, why can't people just get along? And then I despise Ren, and no matter what the author did through various characters' actions or dialogue or whatever to try and justify what Ren did or make him seem sympathetic in what he did or like whatever, trying to amp up like his fear of magic and like whatever, like yeah, no, I despise him. There was even <laughs> there was even one point where one of the characters was talking about having PTSD, and I was like, I literally don't care. He tortured an innocent boy for no reason. There is no coming back from that. I do not forgive him. And I am so, so disgusted with Harper for staying with him. Ugh. Ugh. I need book three. I don't own book three. Technically, I'm on a book buying ban, but also technically books one and two were the first books that I bought to break the book buying ban this year. Whoops. Um, so it feels appropriate to also break the book buying band to buy book three, right? I do want to read it. I am very interested in what happens. <sighs> if Harper ends up, like, officially with Rin at the end of book three, I'm going to be so mad. See, in book one, obviously I loved Grey, <laughs> but I liked Rin, and I liked his relationship with Harper, and it was a good Beauty and the Beast retelling. And I was on the verge of telling the camera that it eclipses The Cursed Hunter entirely. Like, it is my favorite Beauty and the Beast retelling ever. And if you take only book one, that might still be true. But after this, definitely not. I hate this man. I want nothing to do with this man. I don't care what he does to try and get forgiveness in the next book. It's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. Cruelty and torture are my limit. There, There is no forgiveness here. Ren. <sighs> I'm so frustrated with this book. I'm really glad that Liamara was able to, um, well, kill her mother and become the queen of the other country because she is all about peace and protecting people and I love her. She's kind of me in this situation because all these people are fighting and she's just like, why can't people get along? But like, she can't do anything about it because she's just a peacemaker. But anyway, um, it actually works really well that she and Grey are together because everything she does is about bringing peace. And for him, he wants peace, but he is also more than capable of violence. That's why his name is Scary Grey. So yeah, it works really well because she'll, she's like, this is what leads to peace, but I can't do it, I can't stomach it, and he's like, I got you. So anyway, they work really well together. I do think she's really good for Grey, and I think they work well together. I just wish she was Harper. But she's not. But anyway, I don't know what Harper's gonna do because she's sticking by Rin, which is so awful. I don't care that he went through a curse. I don't care that he was tortured by an enchantress. I do not care that he has PTSD and he's acting out of fear. He tortured an innocent boy. I do not care. I'm feeling very frustrated at the end of this book and not at all satisfied whatsoever because I'm so mad at Ren. But, you know, it is kind of the mark of a good book that I'm feeling emotions about it, positive or negative. 
I need book three. Still debating whether or not to buy it since I am on a book buying ban, but I need book three. Uh, that <laughs> gray is actually unbeknownst.